If these were the perceptions of our religious leaders, the church will have been the most attractive place to be. There has been envy, jealousy, backstabbing even amongst our religious blokes, which does not fit the scriptures. Top Nigerian clerics continuously have shown ways to practicalize the scripture of showing compassion. Pastor Enoch Adeboe of the Redeemed Christian Church of God has donated three dialysis machines, one medical water reserve osmosis production system, and a 30,000 volt amp generator to the dialysis center at the Olabisi Onabanjo University Teaching Hospital in the Ogun State. This is a second kidney center to be commissioned by the church worth billions of dollars. It forms part of a promise the church made to the hospital. The governor of the Ogun State, Prince Dapo Abiodon, commissioned the center which is named after Pastor Adeboye and his wife Folu. The government commended the church for their collaborative effort to provide health care services. In another development, the founder of the Living Faith Church, also known as the Women's Chapel, Bishop David Oyedeko, instructed his workforce to roll out its equipment and tractors to repair state roads leading to the church's headquarters in Ota, in the Ogun State. The government seems to have abandoned the roads, for which reason the church took it upon itself to maintain the roads. The repair works reportedly went into billions of naira. Bishop Oyedipo wrote on his Facebook page, quote, Winners at work. We are in the process of working on a number of access roads leading to Canaan land to ease the movement of worshippers to and from church, as well as make transportation more comfortable for all our commuters, the church has shown that over-reliance on government is not always the way to go. Kudos to the bishop and his entire workforce for making roads accessible to the church so that worshippers can go to and fro to worship.